Hello friends. Today, this is what we will be building. It is a velocity scrolling effect uh, powered by GSAP or GreenSock library and we will be implementing it in Webflow. Yeah, so stick around. Okay, so now uh, we have a blank slate, so let's get building. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is add in a background color. So I give it a class to the body, um, BG dark. And I'm going to apply a background color. I'm using a color picker tool. It's called color slurp. And I copy my value, and then I'm going to paste it into the background. Boom, there it is. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And I'm going to add in a uh, div container, command E. Look for the div block. Uh, let's give it a, uh, actually give it a name called page wrapper. Uh, did I spell it? Yes. Page wrapper. And give it a text align center. And, um, Inside this one, inside this page wrapper, I want to put in a, another div container, command D, look for the div block, and give it a class to this container called text container. Okay, great. And uh, let's uh, make it a left align for this one. And let's put in some headings. Command E, look for the headings. Great. And let's assign, uh, what I did was uh, for the font, um, I went into the project settings. And if you go to fonts, I added uh, enter, and you could find it under the Google fonts. Okay, so I just added 300, light and regular. So going back to the designer panel, and okay. So here I want to change the color to white and give it the font of enter, light, uh, 9v view width, and let's make that one dash. Okay, great. And I want to reduce the letter spacing. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's do a copy and paste for a second row. And let's call this velocity. Scroll effect. Great. And then for the text container, I want it fixed in the body so it doesn't scroll with the, the page when you scroll. So the position should be fixed. And, and you could style it however you, uh, you like. And this is entirely up to you. Um, this is totally arbitrary. Okay, so that's taken care of. <clears throat> Excuse me. And for the page wrapper, uh, let's add in another container. Command E, look for the div. And this is where we will be placing the skewing uh, elements. Uh, in our case, would be the images. So it's very important that we give it a um, uh, proper class name that matches the JavaScript that we will be uh, writing together later. So skew lm. Okay. So that's good. So for this one, let's give it a width of 1440 pixels and let's center it. Okay, now. We have to add in a um, CMS collection. So let's create a, a new collection. And let's call this um, just Velocity Images. And add a field. Select image. Let's call this Picks. Save field. And let's create the collection. And let's add in 
a Webflow provider sample uh, items here. So add 20 items. Great. Now let's go back to our uh, layout. And uh, what we want to do is make sure the SKU LM um, container is selected. And let's add in our collection list. And let's bind it to velocity images, what we just created. And uh, let's put in um, the images. Command E to search. Looks for the image, IMG. Uh, let's bind it to to the pics that we created before, okay? And for these uh, images, I guess give it a class of image and the width, let's make it 100% and the height 500 pixels for the time being. And for the fit, let's give it a cover and uh, for this container, SQLM, let's give it a flex box. So um, it formats accordingly. Justify it to the right. It's looking pretty good so far. And for the image, let's give it a margin uh, about 20. Okay, so far so good. Okay, now we're ready to um, put in the custom codes. Okay, now um, we're gonna head over to the uh, the CDN JS, and I'll provide the link down below where you could grab the uh, the script for GSAP. And what we want to do is copy this uh, copy script tag, select that it's copied, and come over to to the end of the body tag and paste that code in there okay and go back to the gsap and we want to look for the scroll oh, excuse me scroll trigger min which is right here i'm going to grab that one Okay, great. So we got that in there. And the next thing we want to do is go over to my uh, GitHub page. Again, I provide the uh, I will provide the link down below in the description, and just copy my codes like that, and come down, create a script, open script tag, and close script tag. Oops. There, and just paste it right inside there. Okay. So these are the values that I set up that works pretty good, uh, I thought. And these are the areas where you could mess with. Um, like here, skew, duration, and sometimes even skew. But um, you should really uh, play around with those values uh, when you have a moment and see what it does. But these are the settings that I actually liked. So uh, feel free to use them or you could create your own. Okay, so I saved it. So now let's publish it. And this should do the trick. There we go. Oh, one thing that uh, we need to put the text on top of the images. So what we want to do is go to the text container and uh, let's give it a Z index. Um, let's just put in two so it stays on top. Let's publish it again. Okay, let's refresh. There. And scroll it. Nice. It's the velocity effect. Yeah, so I hope you uh, you enjoyed that tutorial. 
And uh, please, if you like this tutorial, uh, give me a like and um, subscribe. And I hope to uh, see you in the next one. Okay, bye.